Christopher Marvin Tumsime is my name and I'm from Uganda. I am a forester and an environmentalist and I work with Trinity Forestry Services in implementing the urban farming project. And the urban farming project is particularly a project that is implemented in the ghetto or the so-called ghetto or the slum areas of Kampala. And in these areas, uh, they are attributed with, with problems of, of, of little space. The, the cost of living at times is also not easy because they are living in the, time, in the towns, but then they are in the slums. And then their income is also too less and, and they cannot have uh, that income generation to sustain them enough. Uh, then these communities also have problems of where youth are disturbed with uh, crime rates. They are disturbed with uh, some behaviors that keep on developing in them because of the communities they are living in. Uh, so with Trinity Forestry Services, we uh, had to combine ourselves and made ourselves into a team of eight members, uh, which initially started as two, and we had to develop an idea and then I uh, had to sell it to our colleagues and made a group of eight. And then this group of eight, we had to think of something that would, would be able to, 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 to improve on the lives of the people in this community. So we chose to, to deal with the youth and also the women in these communities. Uh, because the youth in these communities, many of them, some of them have gone to school but have not been able to get employed. Others have also uh, have, have not gone to school. They have totally lost hope in life. Others have, have, have even learned how to, to, to smoke and they take marijuana and also many other drugs. Others, their behavior has also changed into theft and, and so on. Now, when we looked at this, uh, we looked at something that can be able to transform the lives of these people. Then also the women who keep a lot of time at home, who are like housewives and, and are not employed or wait for the husband's uh, income and depend on one source of income. So we looked at these reasons and, and, and thought it wise that uh, these people can, can improve in their lives, in their cost of living, in their income, income household income, and also what they earn in, in the pocket at the end of the day. Therefore, we had to develop an urban farming project. And this urban farming project is a project that can be can be applied into these areas because it requires little space. In other words, it's, 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 you can do vertical gardening instead of the traditional or conventional horizontal gardening. So therefore, you require little space to, to carry out this activity. And, and also now they can use the little available resources like the plastics that are, are, are poorly disposed of in these communities. So these plastics are used and, and they're made into planting vessels and the planting can be done into this. So therefore someone can do this farming with, with, with the actually very little little costs that has, have been put in and, and the earning can be massive. Someone can earn in quite enough, uh, enough money from this. Uh, so we had to think of this project and and at the moment uh, we went to the community and had to train the people uh, uh, right now we are about seven months old now since the project uh, was intubated and running and and we've been able to impact over 48 youth in, in just a period in the, just this period and then the number we've been able to reach out to the number we've been able to train the communities we've been able to to, to train our uh, the, the technology have all also gone on to train others in these communities. Now, where where a team of four of 48 that we trained initially has to make itself into a group of five five and this group of five five are also mentored to start up this project and they also continue with it and and have to also get another group and continue like that that's how we're working on with our impact right now we, we've looked at uh, the, the the benefit that has been got from this is that these youth have been able to earn something from this project they've been able to earn some household income as the women in the homes uh, through uh, the, the vegetables they've grown, the, the fruits they've grown at home on their verandas, in the hanging gardens, on the vertical gardens. They are able to earn out some money from this and this money can help them into other things. Others are able to save in what they used to spend on, on buying uh, on buying food from the market and now are able to save it. Others also have got advantages or benefits that initially they would, they would, let's say, if you took a vegetable, would have to take it maybe once in a week because had to buy it, but now can take it at any time that they want it. So, and then the incomes also, we've talked about the, their health have also been improved because they're taking a good diet and so on. Now, also, these youth have also got what to do to keep doing something 
they are at home and and instead of keeping on going to doing useless things and so on uh my call is that uh members can join or if you hear this video you can sign up uh for the international climate uh, action challenge and and be part of the challenger uh, where we're looking at 90 projects that are going on and and do something it is very possible that you can start up something it's very possible that you can push on something even without very many resources just little resources are just enough and the project can keep on uh, going so much uh, thank you so much i come from uganda and i remain christopher marvin from trinity forestry services thank you